going on, Double D? Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new to the page, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you um, watching and taking the time to watch this video. I like to start every video with gratitude because I, I can't do what I do without you. So um, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, click the bell so you're notified. Thumbs up if you appreciate um, what I'm going to deliver to you every single day here on this channel. Because we were able to get you a free pick win yesterday. Who knew that the four best players on the team um, were going to be withheld closer than we would have liked, but we still were able to get the job done. Coach's decision, they, they were missing four guy, four starters, basically, that uh, uh, account for 31 points, um, but they still somehow were able to cover. So that's good for that. NIT has been wild with some of these coaches um, not playing guys or some of these kids sitting out. So happy we got it there. Tournament action today, starting at noon, and we will have some early action. Hop on board, $24.99. If you're looking for something um, long-term, can take you all the way through the tournament with NIT and all these post-secondary, obviously $99.99. Bryce is smoking the boards. As always, 3-1, and one, I believe, his first four games in the tournament. Um, because we went 2-1 in college, ball, college basketball yesterday. The advantage of hopping on the college basketball pack is that you'll get some of these games when the lines open out, right? So when these lines open up, it may be on the season package, but it might not be on the day package, right? So that's one of the, the big advantages of hopping on um, the rest of the season for college basketball. But, yeah, follow Bryce, TikTok, and Twitter. All the social media links are down below. All our information is down below. The website Full recap on the website. It's all down below in the description, right? So let's get you a free pick here. We're going to look at a game that should be an awesome one. Super excited to watch. Going to be very, very fun. Uh, we have Illinois 9 seed taking on Arkansas. Two teams that I bet both for and against all year long, right? And I think this comes down to a lot of things, as we talked about before, coaching matchups. I love Muscleman. I love what he does, gets up in you, um, wants to press, wants to play fast. Illinois wants to play fast as well. Both these teams sometimes can get sloppy with the turnovers. Um, but if we look down into it and we take a look at the roster, a lot of the success I feel like uh, that Arkansas had last year was from those big three. They had J.D. Note, they had Chris Likes, um, and, and that was just a very senior-laden team as far as guard play goes. They went deep into the tournament. The, corner, the tournament last year. Um, and I think that the transfers for Illinois in this one um, are going to make the difference. T a, a guy like Terrence Shannon, who was on Texas Tech that went deeper in the tournament. A guy like Matthew Mayer, who was on Baylor, who always goes deeper in the tournament. Both those guys were third and fourth options. Now they come over to Illinois where they are now the one and two options on this team. This team has length. This team has athleticism. They've been a little bit up and down, but they've been playing solid basketball tournament play or uh, conference tournament play is always tough when you're seeing teams two and three times um, in desperation mode. They had Penn State in desperation mode. They lost a tough one to Purdue. Um, but this is still a very talented team, and I think a team that can surprise a lot of folks. If they don't get caught up in threes, they continue to attack the basket. Nobody fouls like Arkansas. No one gets up and down the floor um, and, and tries to get free throws like Arkansas, even though they're not a very good three-point shooting team. They're not a good free throw shooting team. Um, these two teams are very, very similar here. Um, but we've seen what this Illinois team can do when they get rolling and when they start pressing and when they get the guys going and, and, and the juices start flowing. We've seen them have that big comeback against UCLA on the neutral court. That's a win that I think um, that they take with them. This team also beat Texas. This is a team that played Virginia nip and tuck to the very, very end. This is a, va a very talented team that I thought that we should keep an eye on to the end of the year. And the end of the year is here. And I think they, have, they are a very sle uh, sneaky team um, in or <laughs> I can't talk this morning. <laughs> uh, a very sneaky team in uh, this March Madness tournament here. So I'm going to go with Illinois. I think they're the better team. I think Musselman has the advantage on the coaching end. But overall, I think they have the experience and the leadership to pull out a victory here. I'm going to take Illinois plus the points. Sprinkle the money line. I certainly will as the official free pick of the day. Illinois plus the two and a sprinkle on the money line is the official free pick of the day. We're looking at four, possibly five college basketball picks. We'll have some NBA. We got... Freaking De'Aaron Fox broke my heart last night as we were on the Bulls. But it's Derek, da 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 dimes, defeat the book.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tell. But either way, hope you guys have a great day. Good luck.